Hi guys! So last video of the day, I've done a few, um, which is why you'll see the sort of same um, hideous hair <laughs> going on right now. Sorry, I couldn't do much with it. But um, right, so this is a review of the Dr. Brand Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Blackhead Extractor. Um, I did my what was it? Was it my day or night? Oh, it was my night um, skincare routine, and I had yet to sort of form an opinion about this, so I've used it quite a few more times since that video, and um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I think it works, but not in the way that it's supposed to work. It's basically a white, um, I don't know if you can see it, it's just sort of like a cleary white gel. Oh, actually, you know what, I don't really want it. You know what, what a clear white sort of gel looks like. So you sort of put it where you want. Um, where your blackheads are and such. I kind of go, you know, obviously my nose, a little bit here, just a little bit there. Um, sometimes I'll do in my pores just to see if it'll shrink it. Um, so you put it on and um, through time it actually turns a light blue color. And that's sort of how you know that you've got it on there for long enough. And I usually put it on for maybe about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15, what does it say here? Yeah five or ten minutes, you know, if I'm doing dishes or doing something, you know, I don't think that keeping it on for longer um, is going to do you any harm, but it's not going to do you extra good. So really, it's just, you know, once it sort of tightens and dries and it turns a sort of light blue kind of robin's egg, kind of eggshell color, um, and then you just rinse it off with warm water. And so I tried it like that quite a few times and I kind of looked at my blackheads and my pores and I was like, mm, you know, maybe a little bit, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but, you know, especially with the super hot weather in the summer months, the, the pores, my pores anyways, get quite clogged and enlarged and, you know, it's just so much sweat and uh, oils and all sorts of stuff. So I was kind of like, you know what, did I just totally waste my money on this because it's not really, really blowing me away. It's not like after I use it, it's like, oh my God, my pores are just shrunken and there's no blackheads and there's nothing. So. I was kind of humming and hawing, didn't use it very regularly after that, after my initial sort of feeling about it, and then I kind of went back to it um, because I was testing out different things, and then I kind of got into a groove, and so I thought I'd try out, uh, a, you know, give this a, a proper testing. So this is how I find it works best for me, and that has to do with extractions. Now. Uh, a lot of people don't like extracting because it's totally gross and um, I've seen extraction videos on YouTube, one in particular that was disgusting. They used one of those blackhead tools that I bought and then promptly returned because I was like, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to use this and it hurts and I don't want to use it. I don't want to really do that to my skin. Um, but they're pretty gross. And luckily this chick warned ahead of time, really graphic, it's going to turn your stomach and you're going to barf. So, um, and I was like this, kind of watching it like this, and I saw 10 seconds of it and I was like, yeah, that's pretty barf material. But, um, so for, we're talking about extraction, so if you're grossed out, just totally click off. But I don't use a tool, I just use um, like pads or tissue on, you know, so, oh gosh, should I go into this? I don't know. Um, I'm just doing this really like cursory, right? It's so, you know, sort of wrapped in tissue kind of thing. I don't want my nails. And then you just push, push gently. Um, I pushed hard before where all of a sudden, like a day or two, I just have tons of flaking skin because I think I've just literally sliced my nose. So um, that's not good. And this I found was really good for when I did extraction. So I put that on for, you know, like the 10 minutes or whatever have you, rinse it off, and I guess um, the ingredients in this, I don't know if he's using some axes as well, but basically it kind of loosened everything up um, without having to steam your face. Like I don't, again, I'm so lazy. I don't have the time to sit there with steam for 10, 15, 20 minutes until your pores enlarge and everything gets sort of softened enough for you to do extractions. Um, and that's really the way that you should be doing it so you don't cause any scarring, you're not breaking the surface of the skin really. Um, and I just don't have the time to do it. So I found this actually really, really good for that where it kind of loosened everything up without spending the time steaming your face. And um, when I would extract, things came out so easily. Having used this, 
Um, so in that way, it's the product on its own. If you're just looking to put it on, rinse it off, and your blackheads are gone, that did not happen. Didn't happen for me. Maybe I've got worse blackheads than most. I'm not sure, but that's not the way this product worked for me. And if I had just done that, I probably would never repurchase this again. You know, I kind of thought it was like kind of cool that it changes colors or something. I was like, oh, it's like German tank, you know, blue, and it's like alchemy, and woo, maybe it works. But apart from that, I would have just been like pass after I finished this. But because it helps me with um, extractions, making that easier, not breaking the surface of the skin, kind of making it gentler um, to do, and I don't get that sort of a day or two later, tons of flaking on my nose because I've been too harsh on it or really sort of dug in and kind of broken that surface. So um, for that use, I would um, continue to use it regularly. I don't know yet if I would repurchase. It's only like I've told you before, it, it's when I miss something. Once a product is gone, and if I don't love it right away from the get-go where it's like this is like for sure it's a keeper I'm gonna have it in my routine all the time um, for products that are sort of on the fence I really wait until I miss something and then do I wind up repurchasing down the road I can't speak about that yet um, but I think that it is really helpful if you are somebody who likes to sort of do extractions as a way to, to clear your blackheads uh, I know some of you don't um, so in that regard, I think that it's a pretty good product for that, but again, not the way it's purported to be used. So um, it's kind of like, I don't know, I think it's about 50, so it's kind of pricey. And obviously if you're on a budget, just do the steam, it costs nothing and you can extract it and it's literally for free. So um, this isn't like a must have, I have yet to find something that's just really going to zap the uh, blackheads on its own. So um, what else can I tell you? It does have kind of a fresh fragrance. You know, it's very clean and fresh, which I like because it's going to be right on the nose and around that area. So I'm really sort of hypersensitive to scent. So this is just very kind of clean and fresh and it's very, very pleasant. Um, you do get how much of it? Ding dong. What the hey? One ounce, 30 grams. So um, yeah, I don't know quite yet. Um, maybe down the road. If you ever see it in the haul that I've repurchased, that'll sort of tell you whether or not this is something that I would um, keep around all the time. But hopefully you found that helpful. And again, if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer. And um, thanks so much for watching, guys, as always. And I'll talk to you soon.